What's going on guys? My name is Jordan with Exotic Whips. Thank you very much for joining me in my garage where you normally find me in my garage working on the M3. Just another M3 day. But today I'm pretty stoked because today I'm putting on, wow, putting on the steering wheel. That's today's project, steering wheel install. Let's see how it goes. I read a few tutorials, a few how to's on it. Doesn't look too difficult. This one doesn't have an airbag. It's the end. Guys, I'm editing this video right now, as you can see. I'm editing this, and it just dawned on me that I never said to disconnect the battery before starting this. Whenever you're doing anything with airbags on your car, anything at all, disconnect the battery, let it sit for like 10 minutes. I don't know if there's a way to cycle to make sure that all the power's out, but always, always, always disconnect the battery before doing any work with the airbags on your car. Cheers, guys. Enjoy the video. Thank you very much. Tech 2 steering wheel, so no airbag. So we're gonna see how hard it is to put in the E36 M3. Let's try it out. <laughs> Man, I, I wish I could find a better angle for y'all, but I don't have, it's just, I'm a one-man band, so. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is go through the manual on, I have this Bentley manual, and I'm gonna figure out how to take the steering wheel off. Uh, I mean, it's very self-explanatory, but I'm just gonna read through this real quick, make sure I understand how to remove the steering wheel, and I'll, give me, give me five minutes, hold on. All right. We'll walk through this one soon. So, I took off this bottom piece. All right, so now you're gonna work behind the wheel. <clears throat> and it takes a T30 Torx right up here. Um, I don't have anything short enough to actually get back there, so what I'm doing is I grab the a Torx and a socket, and I'm just going to stick the Torx in, get it actually in there, and then put it into the socket and try and loosen it that way. There's a little plug on the back of the airbag that this just pulls out of, okay? So now the airbag is out, set it aside. All right, so this right here is a 16. The steering wheel's locked, so I should just be able to get it. All right. So I'm installing the MTech 2 steering wheel and it just came to me, a lot of guys were questioning the size of this steering wheel because they make a couple different variations. They make a 370 or a 375 millimeter. I think it's 375 and that's this one. And then they make like a 390 or 395 and that one, you know, if you're going for a sportier feel, you're going to want a smaller steering wheel. Um, obviously you don't want too small. Um, and I'm not an engineer or anything like that, so I would assume if you go too small, it would play around with, uh, or it would mess something up, I'm sure, because I'm sure you have to have a steering rack that is faster as well, or slower. I don't know, but I think you get what I'm saying. Either way, I wanted a little bit smaller, uh, but I just didn't want bigger. I didn't want like a school bus steering wheel. So here's the factory M3 steering wheel, and here's the M-Tech. MTech 2 steering wheel, and if you put them up, since they are both off, put them up, and they are, I mean, roughly the same size. The MTech 2 might be a little smaller in diameter, but it makes, since the padding around the edge is thicker, it basically gives it the same diameter all the way around. I don't know if you can see that. For the most part, they're fairly close in size. I will say the thicker, the built up portion on this makes it feel a hundred times better and just the new leather and the stitching on it makes it feel awesome. So anyway, just wanted to do a quick comparison because I know some guys have asked 
the size and yeah it's definitely a, it's a little smaller it's definitely a little smaller not a ton not a ton I don't think you're going to notice a huge amount but it definitely is a little smaller so yeah I'm stoked with this all the way around from the leather quality to the stitching to the size it's it looks awesome I can't wait to get it installed let's go finish this up now what you want to do this is for the airbag and since the M-Tech 2 doesn't have an airbag what you want to do is grab the connector that came off the back of the steering wheel and you're going to cut that you're going to cut that connector because then what you're going to do is plug it into here and from the part that you cut this side you're going to close off those two wires with uh, with a little resistor and I just have a pack of resistors here just a little pack of resistors what you're going to do after you after you cut this wire you're going to strip the wires and you're going to connect the two with just a little resistor when you cut stuff like this always leave yourself as much room as possible so I like to I'll go as far down as I can Right, so I have this, uh, the connection. I've always wanted to try this, but I've never done it. I want to solder this, so um, I'm just going to, basically all you want to do is make sure that these two ends um, have the resistor in between them, right? So I'm going to trim the resistor up a little bit, but I'm going to try and solder this. I've never done soldering before, so I'm reading the hand guide. I think now is a good time to say I have no clue what I'm doing when it comes to soldering. I mean, I didn't want my eyes to get, this top one looks all right, the blue one. The other one I kind of jacked up on a little bit, but I have no clue what I'm doing with soldering. Uh, I just didn't want to mess anything up too bad, so I put on my spectacles and went to town. I think it should hold. I'm gonna tape it up, obviously, and put it back in, so let's get back to the steering wheel and saw. All right, so that soldered piece just taped up. Remember that was what went in right here, so now we can attach that back. There we go. All right, so we're good there. We're back. All right, so 46 foot-pounds on this guy. Ah, uh, there we go. We good. I think that's, I think that's it. Oh my gosh. I am so stoked with this. <laughs> All right, now we're just buttoning up the bottom trim piece on the top. Dude, I think we're done. This was like much easier than I, than I thought it would be. Like a, a hundred times easier. So let me clean up real quick. And uh, then I'm gonna sit and sit, sit, sit. Well, one sec. Dude, I am so stoked with how that turned out. So, here it is again, in case you missed it. I can't show that off enough. I'm so jacked with that. All in all, super easy install. I mean, the hardest part was probably soldering the, uh, the airbag, and I don't know the airbag resistor to make sure you don't throw an airbag light on the front. I don't know if that works or if mine worked. I know the trick works, but I don't know if it works for mine because I don't have a battery in here and I'm not gonna put the battery back in until I'm ready to start actually ripping this thing around, which we're getting really, really close to doing. So, we'll find out then. Uh, until then, got another box from ECS that showed up. I think that could be my power steering kit, so I can change that. Once I get the power steering fixed, I can really start to uh, button this thing up so I can start driving. It's more beating on that S50. So anyway, guys, this is a shorter video, uh, more of a how-to for installing a, an aftermarket steering wheel or a non-airbag steering wheel on an E36 M3. Smash the subscribe button down below if you haven't already, guys. Thank you a ton for checking this video out, and I will see you guys next episode. Cheers, guys. Yes.